The truth is that Chamberlain is self-conscious, even on the basketball court, so much so that he fears his own strength. Wilt Chamberlain went up to dunk a ball and Calvin Murphy jumped on him. And Wilt actually completed the dunk, came down, took Calvin off his back and put him on the floor. You all right, little fella? <laughs> the boat couldn't come right up against the dock. It was about three, four feet between the boat and the dock. And Wilt stood like the Colossus of Rhodes, one foot on the boat, one foot on the dock, and lifted up each adult, fully grown adults, lifted each one like you would move cans from shelf to shelf in a pantry. Once, Wilt got upset with me and dunked the ball so hard, it went through the rim with such force that it broke my toe as it hit the floor. All right, Wilt Chamberlain, surprise. Probably the greatest play I have ever seen in my life uh, Will Chamberlain was involved with, with Gus Johnson. Wilt was standing there. Gus goes up to dunk it. Wilt catches the ball, throws Gus to the floor, still holding the ball. They carry Gus off the court with a dislocated shoulder from bouncing off the floor. I don't see how anyone in the NBA will ever be as strong as he was. I remember Wilt from my Baltimore days when I came into the league. He was the strongest human being who ever lived. Nobody was ever stronger than Wilt. I saw Wilt pick up Gus Johnson by the armpits. Gus was 6'6", 255, and not an ounce of fat on him. I worked very hard. I mean, I taught myself how to throw a shot and do it all by myself. One of the great things that we witnessed uh, when I was a freshman was the challenge by Will Chamberlain to two Olympians in the shot put. Bill Nader, who'd won the silver, and by the way, won the gold in 60 and Al Order, who won his first gold medal in the discus, and Al also threw the shot, so he was a world-class shot putter as well. But here's Wilt, and he said, I think that I can throw that shot put further than either one of you. Wilt bet a dollar, and 23 people put a dollar on Bill Nieder to win. Both of them had made their throws, the Olympians, and it was time for Wilt. Wilt took the shot. He threw that out there about six inches farther than Bill Nieder. This is the kind of thing that he just enjoyed. A shot putting champion, undefeated for long periods of time. So one day at the beach, everybody playing volleyball, having a great time, playing cards, having a great time. And it starts, the conversation shifts to football. And so Wilt says, I can throw the football. And everybody scoffs. Everybody goes, yeah, I'm right. And so Wilt, Wilt tells one of the other guys, he says, just go out there. Run down the beach and I'll throw it to you. So the guy runs down the beach, you can barely see him. And Will keeps waving him on. So further, further. And everybody is just like laughing at Wilt. Will steps back, one crank of the shoulder there to loosen it up, takes the football and throws it underhand over the guy's head, who's now about 90 yards down. Oh, the stop. Beach. Come on now. Come on. <laughs> I'm not, I was there, it was incredible. Wilt couldn't do anything. <laughs> 90 yards underhand. 90 yards in, oh, in the air underhand. You know how Shaq likes to dip his shoulder when he comes inside? Do you think he could get away with doing something like that with me? I'd knock him on his ass. I'm looking for Crockett. I don't know anybody by that name. Sure. When you see him, tell him that Will's looking for him. He owes me money. Floyd Patterson, former heavyweight boxing king, challenged Chamberlain to a match of strength. The weapons were fingertip push-ups, one of the most difficult exercises to perform. Patterson ripped off 158 while breaking into a gigantic sweat. Chamberlain got down on the floor, raced through 200 fingertip push-ups, then stood up. Without a trace of perspiration on his face, Wilt looked at Patterson and quipped, how do we stand now, Sonny? That's the kind of strength that Wilt wow. had. I mean, he could hold, I heard, 300 pounds out in front of him like that. <laughs> he, was, he was crazy. I mean, just unbelievable. I once was sitting on the steel fence at Rosecrans, taking in the Rosecrans Open with Wilt and several cohorts back in the late 70s. A player from Muscle Beach was standing beneath us and told us he was going to walk around so he could come join us up on the rail. Wilty told him there was no reason to walk and reached down and picked him up by one arm 
and hoisted him over the bar. Mike weighed about 240 pounds. I have been around some athletes in my day, but nobody, and I mean nobody, was stronger than Wilty. He was a man's man. Bob Lanier, six feet 10 inches, 270 pounds, one of the hugest men anywhere, filled out a questionnaire recently that asked him to cite the most memorable moment in his entire athletic career. Lanier wrote, when Wilt Chamberlain lifted me up and moved me like a coffee cup so he could get a favorable position. When he made the moves with Arnold Schwarzenegger, they were in a weight room. And Wilt says, well, how do you do that? And Arnold goes, well, this way you do it. And he goes, push up. So he goes, Wilt lays down on the bench, gets up under it, bing, 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 bing. That's worse than they had never came into the weight room with Wilt again. Wilt Chamberlain was another one that I met and trained with. I was a big fan of his because he came to the gym and he would do a tricep extension. The, like, the big guys, the strongest guys, would do, let's say, 120 pounds, let's say, tricep extension, pulling down, right? He would come and he would do 150, 170 pounds. Will Chamberlain. That's how strong he was. They always said he was by far the strongest person oh, ever he, played he, the NBA. Absolutely. Yeah. He, he, I remember that he lifted me up with one arm like nothing. I remember Andre the Giant, the professional wrestler, oh, yeah. was a very good friend of mine. And Will Chamberlain, we both went out for dinner several times in Mexico City when we did the movie down there, yeah. the Conan movie. And you know, both of them would just you know pick me up. Always, they were both joking about who can pick me up and make me look like lighter and like a little fly. You know, so because they were so powerful, it was like ridiculous. LeBron's a great guy. I told him stories about training with Wilt Chamberlain back in the day, and he couldn't believe it. Wilt used to do triceps extensions with the full stack. No one can do what he did. No one on the planet of that. He's a great athlete. I saw him pick up 500 pounds. I almost dropped off a roof watching him and Johnny Samuel. And he picked... I fainted. I put off the roof. A guy picked up 500 pounds, man. Oh, Recently, he astonished a teammate, Billy Cunningham, by picking up the rear end of a Volkswagen with one hand, of course, and replacing it on the ground at a different angle. He did not spin the wheels with his spare hand, but Cunningham says he could have done it. Will walked up to Heinz and... I thought he was going to shake hands with him. Instead, Will stuck his finger under Heinsohn's jersey strap and twisted his hand, snapping it. Double reinforced nylon jersey <laughs> he ripped. It's an amazing feat of strength. When the elevator doors opened, Wilt stepped back as two husky workmen struggled to wheel a heavily loaded dolly into the corridor. On the dolly were 10 big cartons of envelopes. For perhaps a minute, the workmen pushed and pulled, trying to get the wheels of the dolly across the uneven slit between the elevator and the floor. Huffing and puffing, they finally dropped their hands in frustration. You look, Wilt said, like you need a little help. His massive arms unencumbered by a chocolate sleeveless shirt, he reached down, grabbed the rope attached to the dolly, and lifted the load into the corridor as if it had been a baby in a stroller. The workmen stared and thanked him. Wilt smiled, entered the elevator, and the doors closed. I never saw anything like that, one of the workmen said. These cartons each weigh about 80 pounds. This is an 800-pound load. One time we were talking, and he has all these scars on his arm. So I says, Wilty, how'd you get those scars? He said, man, I was going cross-country, and I stopped for a break, and this mountain lion jumped out of a, of a rock and jumped on me, and I grabbed him, and he scratched me, and I killed him with my bare hands. I said, come on. He said, yeah, it's true. And he, you know, he did so many great things, I kind of believe him. Mountain lions rarely attack, with only 20 human deaths in the last century. But encounters do happen. The unknown Colorado jogger who survived a mountain lion attack by killing the animal with his bare hands has come forward. As it got close, it just kind of lunged at me, so I threw my arms up, lashed on my wrist, and... Then it just started clawing along my like face and then my legs. Well, I wasn't there. But Wilt says it happened, and I'm not about to say it didn't. Besides, he showed me these huge scratch marks on one shoulder. I don't know any other way he could have gotten them. 